I've been working a lot lately. If you're like me, you might have had burnout working from home. In this video, we're going to show you three things you can do to make sure you don't get burnt out while working from home. All right, it's no surprise that working during this time, it's tough. It's This is not normal remote work or working from home. Frankly, because typically when you work from home, you get to experience going outside and living out normally in a society. However, this is different. And because you're working at home, you want to figure out how can you work best to make sure you don't get burnt out. Well, here's the first tip. Number one is hours. Make sure you set your hours, not only the time that you're working, but also the time you're taking a break. Whether you want to follow Pomodoro, where you're taking breaks every 20, every five minutes after every 25, or perhaps longer period of time, make sure you set time to have breaks. And in addition to the hours, make sure it's not only for the work while you're working, but it's also what you're doing after work. So perhaps you say, I'm only going to work nine to five, or if you need to get a lot done, nine to seven. And after that, every day at seven, I'm going to take a break. That is one way to make sure your hours are set. Second is distractions. You want to make sure you limit your distractions, whether it's going on your phone or on the TV, especially if you're at home and you, everything's nearby. Snacks, TV, whatever you want, because it's so close by, you want to limit your distractions. Because when you're in work mode, you want to get focused on work. And when you're break, taking breaks, that's what you want to focus on. So make sure you keep limit your distractions. And part of what that also means is keeping your workplace organized. So that way you don't need to go out to grab something. Everything is right there nearby. And that becomes much easier for you. Number three is social. Because you're working from home, it makes it that much difficult and easier to stay in touch with people, not only other people, but also sh socially with your own self. One, make sure you're making time for friends and family, whether it's connecting with them after work or setting time in advance so you don't work longer hours. And two, make sure you're time taking time to recharge, whether it means reading books if that's your hobby or maybe doing something else that's in your hobby. Making sure you have time to recharge at the end of the evening, as well as in the morning if that helps and part of what that also means taking care of your health whether it's staying active and I know it's super tough when you're at home but doing something even if it's simple as 10 push-ups will help you improve your lifestyle so those are the three tips on how to avoid remote work burnout what's your tip let me know in the comments below what's your favorite tip when you're working from home before I go one other thing if you want to meet other people who are working remotely and virtually co-work with them head on over to council.club. See you in the next video.